One of the things that becomes very evident very quickly as you practice with TrackMan is you need to have a very consistent swing path for consistency in the ball flight. So here on the left, we've got a video of Adam Scott. And what you see over and over again as you look at uh, professional golf swings is that at the point where the left arm is parallel, if you draw a line on the shaft, it points either at or slightly outside of the golf ball. So here you can see it's just a inch or so outside the golf ball. And with the balance of the weight of the club with their rotation, that just brings the club to come into the ball on a very neutral swing path. Any of these that you look at where this is the shaft position at left arm parallel, you're going to find that it's going to be just a couple of degrees one way or the other, either uh, plus or minus. So the other day I was in at Alta View and uh, Nathan, we met, one of our members was able, was kind enough to let me uh, film a couple of his swings. And we see the same thing here. Now you notice Nathan's a little more upright than Adam. He's uh, actually hitting a lot longer of a shot, uh, probably higher club speed than this one we see with Adam. This looks more like a uh, shorter iron. Nathan uh, was going, this is about a 220 yard carry on, the, uh, on this iron. You see he's a little more upright, a little more leg action, but similar thing, the arm when it's parallel to the ground coming down, you'll see where the shaft is pointed just slightly outside the ball. And as we measured this with TrackMan, this was a plus two, just a couple of degrees, tiny, tiny little drop, really, really nice ball flight. So as you're practicing and working on your path, make sure that your body mechanics are putting you into a position that is your left arm is parallel to the ground, draw a line with the shaft on the down the line view and see where it is relative to the ball. If that shaft at that point in time is pointed inside the ball, you're gonna have to do compensations, which typically what we see is you stand up, the back rises and it'll really turn your path left. So, so get that shaft pointed at or outside the ball at this position to help you generate a consistent, slightly positive inside out swing path.